to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. It's so important to be able to see people that look like you and practice like you doing these mitzvot. In my experience, it feels like I'm closer and more connected to God. It's very spiritual for me. And for me, the sacred act of putting on tefillin, of having actual um, cloth, actual pieces of Torah with words of Torah on them on my body, tell me that my body is, a sac is sacred and something to be proud of and something that is worthy of, of God and worthy of Torah. So I'm going to put on my tefillin now. I'm left-handed and I keep my tefillin shel yad, the tefillin for the hand on the left side of my tefillin bag, so I know where it is when I go for it. So I take my tefillin shel yad out, I unro unroll it, keeping it on the table so it doesn't hit the floor. I put the, the, the box towards my heart, the middle of my bicep. The knot and the box are touching. Then I pull it towards myself, and as I'm tightening it, I say the bracha. Baruch atzar onai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshana bevitzvatav, v'tzivanu lahaniach tefillin. I then wrap the tefillin around my arm seven times, and I say a verse as I'm wrapping it, which has seven words in it. Poteach et yadecha umazbia lechol chai ratzon. Then I complete wrapping the, the rest of, of the strap around my palm, making sure that the tefillin do not hit the floor. I then next take the tefillin shell roche, the tefillin for the head out of my bag. I don't happen to have boxes for my tefillin, so it's a little bit more difficult to, to wrap and unwrap from the bag. I put it on my head so that the, the box is at the hairline in front and in back. As I'm tightening it, I say the bracha, Aruch atzah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshana v'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al mitzvat filin. Baruch shem kavod machuto le'olam va'ed. Once the head fillin is in place, you return to your hand to finish the, the wrapping there. So you undo the extra uh, strap. I focus on wrapping three times around my middle finger. And as I do so, I say the following verses from Hosea. Verastichli le'olam, verastichli betzedek v'mishpat v'chesed v'rachamim, verastichli be'emunah v'yada'at v'adonai. And then, as I'm saying those verses, I wrap around three times. The first time, under the knuckle like this. The second time, near the top like this. And then the third and final time, kind of wrapping back around the first two and around my fourth finger, and then back in by my thumb. And then I wrap the rest of the strap like this. And then I loop it back in here so it stays put. And this is what it looks like on, on the inside and this is what it looks like on the outside. And so just as you put the talit and tefillin on in a very particular way, you unwind and you take these ritual objects off in the exact mirror opposite way. So I start by unwrapping the hand back to how it was before I put on the head tefillin. And then you take the head fillin off and just put it in the box and lay it aside. And then I unwrap the rest of my hand fillin. And I always learn to wrap the hand fillin up just all on one side like this. And the hard part is not getting it caught with the other tefillin or with your talit and your, your fringes. At the end, when I don't have any left, I kind of wrap it in like this, so that it all stays together. And then I put it back in the tefillin bag. And then I go back to the head tefillin, and I wrap the head tefillin 
more like this because of the, the knot, I try to keep at the bottom there. And then I wrap each of the individual straps around like this. One kind of north, north south and one east west. And then kind of wrap the last bit in like that. And then that one goes back on the right side. And then take my talit off and wrap that up as well. Two forms of dust of the one and the many A vapor to moisten them both into clay Two hands to form us to guide Until we are ready to walk away